It was a nice quiet morning in this small village. It was located on a small island, and a few villagers lived here, working on farming and making tools. But one day, one villager was born, and he was a little different. His name was Bob. Huh? Yep, that's your name now. Bob spent most of his time on the beach, studying the ocean. And when he grew up, he became a cartographer. But over time, the small village became crowded and overpopulated. Bob had to find a way out. He spent countless days and nights mapping out the ocean, until one day, he decided to just get in his boat and set sail. Bob eventually found land, and it was a lot of land. He explored it for a little, and then built a small little home. But then it got cold. Very cold. To escape the cold, Bob then traveled east. But little did he know, more villagers were heading towards this new land. Bob and the other villagers got together and built their own village. But later, more villagers came, and they wanted to take over. Bob and the villagers fought against the invaders, and eventually made them retreat. But sadly, during the battle, Bob was struck by an arrow, and died. The invaders retreated south, where they found a big island, and set up their own village. Then, as more settlers arrived, six more villages formed. And over in this village, they were getting ready to have an election, to choose a new leader. This is the kingdom of Graupel. Yo, Yo guys, what's up? It's Mikas Productions. Invaded. Welcome to another... Aw, oh, he left. <laughs> <laughs> I, Clouds Productions, want to call all of the soldiers of Village 5 and I wish for us to prosper. We will enslave the natives what? and use them for mending. On it. Hello. I would like. You, you gotta give Steve and um, I would, Max their nameplate. I, I would. I would like to start by thanking my mom and my dad. Uh. I, I, I here want to be the leader, and I'm not going to enslave anyone. Uh, um. Is that it, Nate? <laughs> Nate, are you done? Alright, hello. My name is Jacob Patel. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I should be leader. I have been <laughs> for this village so far. I built the stage. <laughs> it's been a lot. And that leaves us with just one more person running for election. My dear citizens of our Minecraft world, I stand before you today as a candidate for leader of our society. I understand that leadership requires a strong and decisive leader who can guide us through the challenges we face. I believe that I am that leader. Marxist, can you please step up here? Guards, get him. Make no mistake, this is not a request. Oh. It is a demand. I expect all of you to fully comply with my decisions and regulations. Failure to do so will be met with severe punishment. I will not hesitate to use force if necessary to maintain order and control. I'll be watching you all closely, so be warned. Any sign of disloyalty will be met with punishment. My leadership will be absolute, and any disobedience will not be tolerated. Together, we'll build a strong and powerful society, one block at a time, and I expect your full support as we work towards that goal. Thank you. Interestingly enough, the vote was tied, 
between this guy who killed someone and will be a dictator and this guy who won't enslave anyone. And the only fair way to find out who wins is by having them fight. One, go! Uh, uh, I'm out of here. If he leaves the ice, ice, ice. If he leaves the ice, ice do I have to fight him, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. Now, unfortunately for me, I'm not brave enough for politics. So I ran away, meaning Armitro was now the new leader of the Kingdom of Graupel. Now let's talk about this village. After the invaders that attacked Bob's village retreated and found this land, they built a small village called Ravinia. But the political system was broken, there was no distinct leader, and many times fights would break out over who has more power. I'm the leader. No, I'm the leader. Well, my dad served as a general in the invasion, so I'm the leader. Yeah, well, my dad... Well, actually, I don't... I don't know my dad. Loser. What did you say? Oh, that's it. But the fighting didn't last forever. One day, two people said, hey, we're gonna be co-leaders. And the other villagers just kind of let it happen. But I want to be leader. Jellerk, your arms have been stuck together since you were born. You spend all day making squidward noises, and you've been living outside without a job like some kind of hobo. Hey. That's not nice. Once Ravinia got new leaders, they changed the flag, and the leader of Bob's village was now open to putting the past behind them and making amends. But this small village called the Black Mesa Society had a different idea. They produced newspapers, and they started producing a bunch of propaganda against Ravinia. And after seeing the papers, the leader of Bob's village was all like, How could you do such a thing? The newspapers were a lie. Have you even talked to anyone from the Black Mesa Society? No, but I believe them. Loser. And just like that, tensions between the two villages were back. But as the Kingdom of Graupel deals with a new dictator, and Ravinia and the Black Mesa Society deal with propaganda, the two villages to the west were doing just fine. They set up trades, and the two leaders even fell in love. But not everyone liked living in this village, so a few of them moved up north, where they formed a small nation called Agricola. But two villagers had a different idea. They traveled further north and settled a small village. And as time went on, some villages became nations. The color borders you see here are nations, and the white borders are villages that have not yet formed into nations. Now it's time to hear a quick word from our sponsor. Hello, it's me, the sponsor guy, here to tell you to subscribe to Commander Nate. Because if you do, then he will make more epic content. Okay, back to the video. Okay, where were we? Right, Bob died, invaders ran away, and propaganda. After the newspapers got around to the other villages, the leader of Bob's village, which is now called Escad, wanted to explore the world to find new resources, new land, or maybe even his dad. Escad quickly started building boats. They wanted to build a boat big enough to hold multiple people. And some time later, they built this majestic boat. Then, this was the guy chosen to lead the mission of exploration. His name is Bob Jr. Just like his dad, he wanted to be the first to explore new land. So Bob Jr. and his small crew got in their boat and set sail. They sailed across the world, taking a couple of days, and eventually they hit ice. They left their boat behind and walked north until they found a village. They met with the local villagers and Bob Jr. insisted that they come back with him to Escad. Come on guys, come back to Escad with us. I promise we're not gonna make you do, like, forced labor without pay. What is wrong with you? But obviously the villagers declined. Then, after some of the villagers started insulting Bob Jr., my pet goldfish is smarter than you. He ordered his men to attack. This was a massacre. They killed everything. Villagers, cows, and sometimes, even each other. Bob Jr. was a war criminal. The village was left in ruins. Bob Jr. and the remaining men of his crew headed back to Escad. For now, 
No one knows what Bob Jr. has just done. Huh?